Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Selenium Tech Automation. In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss about how to handle suggestions displayed on a text box web element. Okay, the concept called how to handle suggestions displayed on a text box web element. For example, so I am uh, considering one Yahoo application. So here I am entering some Selenium tutorial. Okay. Here I entered some Selenium tutorial on Yahoo search bar. So based upon my inputs, I am getting these many options to select. Okay. So based upon my inputs, I am getting these many options to select any one of the option. Right. So in this case, we can consider these as some suggestion list. Okay. We can consider all these values as suggestion list. Okay. Here each and every item presented in this suggestion list consider as a listed item or list of web element okay each and every item present inside this suggestion list we can consider as a list of web element okay it is going to store in the form of tag name called li of 1 li of 2 li of 3 li of 3 li of 4 so likewise it will consider all as li tag name of li of 1 okay so once it is done so to handle uh, these uh, auto suggestions or suggestion list how we can handle first we need to capture xpath okay first we need to write a common xpath to capture all these web elements and we are going to store into some list okay to handle this suggestion list first we need to write a common xpath so where it will store all these li values into some list of web elements so then we are going to store into some java list okay first we need to create a common xpath where we are going to write for all the listed items so and then we are going to store into some list of web elements so once store into list of web elements we are going to store that list of web elements into a java list okay here we can see this diagram in our case this is my text box field so where i entered item number one so based upon my input i am getting these many items inside these suggestions okay based upon my input i am getting these many suggestions inside the suggestion list we can consider here as every item we can consider here as li of one li of two li of three li of four so likewise we can consider each and every item as a listed item okay once this is done we are going to write a common xpath where it will store all these listed items into some list of web elements okay once we store all these items into some list of web elements we are going to store this list of web elements into some java list here you can see i am going to store all this list of item 1 list of item 2 and list of item 3 into a java list okay inside java list we are going to store all this list of web elements in java list how it will store it will store based upon the index values okay it will store in the form of index values that is starting from 0 to ending okay so now let me create a small script i have already written a logic here you can see okay let me maximize here you can see first what i am doing first i mention my uh, property for where my driver got located so under then i am initializing one web driver after that with the help of driver.get method i launched yahoo.com url so under then i am doing maximizing that particular current window so once that is done i am going to enter the text right so for that reason i am taking xpath for this particular text field okay that is input at the rate name equals to p so once that is done i am going to enter selenium you can see here once we took the text path i am going to enter selenium like this okay that is how it will how it will do it will enter the text called selenium inside this text field once it got entered i am going to store all this list of web elements like means listed items into some list of web elements so for that reason i created a common xpath so where it will store all the listed items in the form of list of web elements okay once we capture all these listed items we are going to make some we are going to perform some for loop here okay here our first position is starting from zero so that's why i initialized a value that is integer variable of i equals to zero integer data type of variable i equals to zero so then based upon my list size i am going to perform the iteration okay you can see here first you can consider an example here first the i value equals to zero here my uh, elements dot size mean 
how many elements got present means nine elements are available in this particular list okay then it will give you nine here then zero is less than nine yes the condition is true so then i am going to capture the text for that particular zeroth value okay i value is zero okay it will retrieve the text as selenium so after that i am going to perform one more i mean i am going to uh, increment by one so then this time what will be our value for i equals to one likewise it will keep on iterate until the last uh, value is going to meet okay once the size value is increased if the size is not matching with the ith value so then our loop will terminate uh, then it will come outside then it is going to perform click operation on the mentioned index value that is i equals to one okay so let me execute how it will execute we will see on which value it is going to click okay so it is a very very important concept as an automation testers we have to uh, take this uh, scenario as a challenge so now you can see here it clicked on that selenium download okay because the index value for that selenium download is one you can see that starting position is here okay let me uh, close this and open it again the browser okay yahoo selenium okay you can see uh, once if you start inspecting okay once if you start inspecting you will get the value of that particular selenium download here you can see the position is one okay in the same way the position is 2 the position is 3 based upon the index values we are going to mention the value here that is in the form of ith value okay i mentioned here as 1 and one more thing here i am using starts with function okay with the help of starts with function what is advantage means suppose if there is any dynamically changing x path for that particular web elements during that time we have to use starts with method or ends with function or contains function okay B with the help of these three functions we can easily handle the dynamically changing x paths okay for that reason i used uh, this one here so let me uh, select one more that is 0 1 2 3 so this time i am passing uh, my ith value as 3 here so let me do that 3 so and also i am using here thread dot slip okay thread dot slip of 3000 seconds okay 3000 milliseconds right so let me execute and we will see whether it is clicking on that uh, selenium interview questions or not okay so after this i will uh, discuss about uh, normalized xpath as well okay normalized xpath also i am going to show you so what is the use of for normalized xpath and we, we are going to discuss okay so here you can see it is clicked on selenium interview questions you can see it is clicked on selenium interview questions okay so this is how uh, we can click on the desired web element what we are looking for okay so now as discussed i am going to show you normalize xpath so this time what i will do so i will directly perform some click operation any one of this particular web element okay for example i want to click on this selenium ide how we can take the xpath with the help of normalize xpath okay so let me inspect this selenium ide okay let me inspect this selenium ide so here you can see okay selenium ide so if i write xpath how we can write okay how we can write so it is listed items okay list of items so and then i am going to click on this download right for example i am going to click on this download option from that particular suggestion list so here you can see this is at the rate class okay i am going to take here as locator is at the rate class okay at the rate class equals to okay at the rate class equals to this one so now you can see there are eight elements are highlighting currently so once it is done so i want to take i want to click on this particular download okay i want to click on this particular download right so for that what i'm going to do i'm going to mention span as well here span span tag i'm using okay span with the span also it is highlighting eight elements okay 
the span also it is highlighting eight elements so now what i'm going to do okay now what i'm going to do here i'm going to write xpath for this one with the help of normalize xpath okay how we can do what is the use of normalize xpath we can easily trim okay we can easily trim the uh, both the ends of spaces okay we can easily remove the spaces before and after of that particular text okay normalize space uh, function strips the leading and trailing white spaces from a string which means before and after if any spaces is having for this particular uh, download it will remove the spaces white spaces means before and after of that particular download web element okay so now i am going to write an xpath with the help of normalize okay how we can create with the help of normalize xpath so now normalize so i will show you with uh, without and with as well so with the help of normalize space okay with the help of normalize space text okay text equals to download right download okay you can see here if you inspect this web element we are getting some extra space if i pass the same here it is not highlighting the web element okay with the help of normalize xpath we can pass without space as well okay you can see here you can see here this web element is highlighting now okay which means with the help of normalize space function it will strips the leading and trailing white spaces from a string okay and it will replace the sequence of white spaces characters by a single space and resulting the exact string okay with the help of normalize space function we can remove the white spaces before and after of that particular strings what we are looking for okay if i pass with the help of space it is not highlighting if i remove any space it is highlighting but in this xpath we have already a space okay if i pass this directly it is not giving the element okay you can see here it is not giving with the help of normalize space we can remove that extra space as well we can just pass that download only okay in the same way if i pass for ide as well okay you can see here it is highlighting in the same way we can pass it for web driver as well okay you can see okay this is how this normalize xpath will work so let me click on this one i am going to click on this selenium web driver option from that particular suggestion list okay how we can perform so with the help of with the help of click action we are going to perform right so now okay so now i want to click only on that particular web element okay now i want to click only on that particular selenium web driver only so now let me comment all these lines so because of uh, spaces also sometimes you will get issues while uh, automating your scripts okay so during that time we can use uh, this normalize space function okay to avoid the xpath issues so then what i am going to do here Okay, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to initialize a web element element elements equals to driver dot find. Sorry, driver dot find element by dot xpath. Okay, driver dot find element by dot xpath of. Okay, so now let me take this xpath and paste this xpath here. Okay. So our first part is done with the help of normalize space function. Okay. So once that is done, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on that particular element that is elements, right? So here I'm going to directly perform click operation to click on that particular ID. I mean web driver. So now if I execute, so what will happen? We will see. Okay. So with the help of normalize space function, we can easily strips leading and trailing weight spaces from that particular string. So you can see it clicked on that Selenium web driver. Okay, this is how we can use normalize space xpath in your test cases. Because 
sometimes if you are working with uh, any other applications you are getting some extra spaces while uh, automating your scripts means you are getting uh, spaces in between these strings right so during that time we can easily remove the white spaces before and after of the string with the help of normalize space so if i pass space here it is not able to identify so we have to pass without space by defaultly this normalize space function will remove the spaces before and after of that particular string okay so this is how we can use this normalize space function inside our selenium scripts okay so that's all it for now so thanks for watching so please drop a like and don't forget to watch this video till uh, till the end and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel selenium tech automation and please do a share this video to your friends or colleagues so that they will also learn uh, something if they are looking for the same uh, until then take care everyone thanks guys have a nice day signing off selenium tech automation